So you decide you're going to put your computer together, even though you don't have a case and because you just can't wait and you really want to put it together or you can't afford a case at the moment or whatever. Uh, but you want to get your computer put together and you want to see what it can do and you want to start benchmarking and overclocking and all of that. So you get it all together and then you're looking at it and you think to yourself, where's the power switch? How do I turn this on? Anyways, so that was me, and uh, that was with this computer back here, and I realized I don't know how to turn this thing on. So it's actually super simple, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. What you wanna do is pull out your trusty user guide and find where the power switch diagram is. Okay, on this particular motherboard, you see it's JFP1, and it actually tells me the configuration here. Okay, so this is how you would plug in your power switch if you had one. But since I don't, um, I'm gonna have to do something else. So we'll find this JFP1 marked switch on the motherboard, and for mine, it happens to be right here. Okay, so you see those nine pins there. And then if we look here, where do we go? If we look here, it corresponds with what we got here. All right, so basically we see here that from the orientation we're looking here, the on the top row, the farthest two right ones are the power switch pins, okay? So those are the two that basically what we want to do is short. Um, your power switch, when you plug it in, is actually going to create a connection between those two pins. And that's what turns your system on. So what we can do is use a screwdriver or some sort of metal object to create the connection between those two pins and actually turn it on. So make sure that your power supply is switched on and plugged in and there we go so you see it's super simple uh, it's super simple to turn on. It's not a permanent solution, but if you're in a situation where you just have to turn your PC on and you don't have a power switch, uh, that's a really quick and easy way to do it. Now, a couple of words of caution is, uh, number one, before you actually make contact with the motherboard, touch something metal. Uh, to If you have any static electricity on you, that will discharge it, um, especially if you're kind of, if you're on carpet and you've been shuffling your feet around on the carpet. Uh, and then number two is whenever you're pressing the screwdriver down, you have to be really careful not to touch any of the other pins. And also don't actually accidentally touch the motherboard with the tip of the screwdriver when you make that contact because you could short out uh, the motherboard and that would not be good. So um, anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please share it with somebody. Uh, give it a thumbs up and this is Cliff with Tech Endeavor, and I will see you on the next video.